This is my 72 hour survival kit, or at least the base components of it. I normally would include any of my EDC bags and grab them with me. I keep these four items together. Uh, the one's kind of hard to see, but I'll explain it. The main black bag has the majority of the components that I would use. The small but uh, brownish tannish bag in the bottom left is my large trauma first aid kit. And you can see the separate video with the contents of that. And then there's also a case of water. It's got 12 one and a half liter bottles of water. My, I know normally they say one gallon of water per person per day. I have two small children, so I'm kind of betting that I wouldn't need quite as much for uh, each of them. And that would give each person in the family one and a half liters of water per day for 72 hours. Stacked on top of that is actually, it, uh, I have it vacuum sealed, not vacuum sealed, but in one of those space saver bags that are vacuumed down. It's three uh, army field jackets, or three M65 field jackets that I had from back when I was in the military. They've uh, always kind of sat, never really did anything, and this is a good way of having to use something quick that I can grab with me. The purpose of my bag is not so much to, uh, as a, a bailout or kit like that. Again, I have small children, so I'm not really going anywhere on foot. Uh, the entire package is a little weighty. Uh, the black bag itself probably weighs between 40 and 50 pounds. Um, again, I'm not looking to actually, uh, I'm looking for more of a bug in situation as bug out because, again, my small children can't really, it's going to be hard for me to go on foot anywhere with them any great distance. So I would either uh, try and bug in, stay in the basement of the house, or if I am going to bug out, it would be in my vehicle. So let me uh, get a little closer to show you the actual bag contents and go over that. This again is three field jacks. If you folded it up, one of them, it would probably take up about this weight. Um, I got three in here. I know there's four of us, so it would mean I would have to remember to grab one more bag. But this all stays together, so it kind of keeps everything ready to go in one little package. Um, field jackets are fairly warm, not super warm in really cold situations, but it's a good start, better than nothing. Uh, I do most of my shopping for all this stuff between Harbor Freight, Walmart, Ollie's, and dollar stores. And uh, get put quite a kit together at a very low price for all of this. The bag itself, uh, it's a pretty good sized bag. It's actually, uh, I can't think of the name of it now, but it's a brand name bag that I got at Ollie's for $10. It's a good size. It does have some small little side zip pockets that you could fit some small flat items in. The only problem that I don't like is that the zippers start underneath, so it's kind of awkward. Um, I do have attached a little LED light here that I can use to see right inside the compartment when I open it up to get one of the other flashlights out. The bag itself has a very nice big opening to get access to all of the components of my bag. I do have a shoulder strap in here. Again, this isn't a bag that I could carry for long distance, but it came with a shoulder strap so I kept it with it. I have four stainless steel water bottles. Um, I went with the stainless steel ones. Not that much more weight, but if I need to heat water in these to purify it for some reason or to heat, to heat a drink up, I can use these. And that way it gives one for each of us. They have little, come with little carabiners on the top, so they're pretty nifty. Not bad. I got all four of these, I think, for a total of $12 at Ollie's. Roll of duct tape, because you can never have enough of that. It's great for everything. And I also have two small plastic drop cloths. They're painter drop cloths. I think I got for a dollar a piece at uh, one of those stores. And uh, if I need to bug in, I can use this to seal up windows along with the duct tape. Or I can make uh, a shelter if need be out of that, or solar still. Got some larger trauma dressings. Uh, I had them laying around. Didn't take up that much space, I had enough space in the bag, so I'll toss them in there. And then I have some plastic bins I picked up while I was uh, on calls at the hospital. And just some cheap plastic bins, not sure, they can have some sort of use. Um, 
but it helped me kind of organize some smaller items that I have in here. I have uh, some little, uh, just some lotion to you know, keep stuff moisturized in the winter or something. Uh, hands may get more cracked. A bottle of aspirin and some uh, ibuprofen or Advil. I had a triangular bandage laying on extra, I tossed that in here. Some bars of soap, just some plain old ivory. Again, that's laying in here. And I have two of these little shake lights. And they're not great, but again, in an absolute emergency, you shake these up for a long time and then they work. Uh, not bad. Again, I had space, tossed it in. They don't take up that much room, they don't weigh that much. Inside that organizer, or that tub, I have an LA Police Gear organizer. These are great little organizers for $10. Um, it's kind of a takeoff of, I guess, the uh, Spec Ops Pack Rat, I believe it is, or Max Edition has another bag like this. <laughs> for $10, it's really a good deal. Um, it's got the same amount of organization. Uh, the, in, the only difference is the inside isn't uh, a high vis color. But I have a little uh, LED flashlight. If you shop at, uh, if you shop a lot at Harbor Freight Tools, or you can actually find these coupons in all sorts of different magazines for Harbor Freight, and you get 20% off an item, and you're also getting a free LED flashlight. So I got a bunch of these lying around all over the place. They're not super high quality, but they do the job. Anyhow, tucked in the front, I have some EMT shears. There's a pack of Kleenex. Yeah, just I had there, stuffed it in. In back here, actually, it's an old tourniquet from my uh, combat lifesaver bag. Um, what I would plan on using this for is probably if I had to make a slingshot or had a need for some elastic or something. That's really what it's here for. Opening up the pouch, it opens up very nicely. And I have all sorts of things in here. I have. Uh, just some cord, it's not 550 cord, but it's still, it's good cord, do the job. WD-40 pen, some super glue, I have a bunch of extra band-aids just tossed in here. And in the way back here, I have some Strike Anywhere matches that I vacuum sealed, that way they're waterproof, and they just sit in there. Flip it around. I have a whole bunch of light sticks tucked in here. A set of lock jaw pliers. A whistle. A can opener. And then I have in here just a little container. Inside of here, I have another one of them small freebie flashlights, chapstick, fingernail cutters, some other small band aids. Even though this is a Vaseline container, actually what is in here, I've probably got about 40 cotton balls that are soaked in the Vaseline, and I wound up using all the Vaseline and was able to just jam them all back into the container. So for fire starting, it gives me some tinder. I have an old waterproof flash, uh, match light, excuse me, waterproof matchbox in here, and that's got some matches in it, P38 can opener, and old Bic lighter. It's not a waterproof pouch. Uh, container, um, but if I needed to, I could just uh, put some duct tape on there or seal it up better if I needed to, but not really what its purpose is for. Continue on. It's got a bag of plastic utensils. You need them for some reason. This was a great little find. This is $10. I got this at Ollie's. It's a cast aluminum pot. It is actually very lightweight. Um, but if I need to boil water, or I can use this for cooking some food, and then I have some uh, some wood uh, wood spoons again to use for cooking. And actually, as a hardwood here, I could use this for fire starting if I had to, uh, if we were out somewhere and I had to make fire in the woods. I could use this as a fire stick. And I have this bungee cord closed, and inside I have some plastic bowls. And actually what I did inside of here, I had, you know, you get all them sauces from the Chinese food when you get takeout. Well, I had a whole bunch of them upstairs. I just tossed them in a Ziploc bag and tossed them in that bowl. 
Um, if you're going to be eating some food, that, you know, kind of get sick of stuff after a while, you get some spices in there at least make it uh, a little more edible. And then the bungee cord here just kind of holds this top on. Um, but that way, you know, bungee cord can also be used for all sorts of things. Two large bottles of sterile irrigation water. Um, for, would preferably use these for first aid purposes, but in a pinch, if you had to drink water, you could use this. I have two of these. They're alcohol stoves. Uh, if you search YouTube, you could find them. Basically, what it is, it's a small paint can. You get it at Lowe's or Home Depot. You take a roll of paper or toilet paper, put it inside of there, and then soak it with alcohol. And then I rubber banded a lighter and a, a can opener to the top so you can pop it open to get this thing fired up. And I have some additional alcohol to refuel the stove. And I, I have two of these. I have some baby wipes. Uh, baby wipes always good to have. You know, clean up, clean yourself up a little bit. I have some batteries. And I have some food items. As you see on here, I've noted November 2012. That's when the first item expires. So I got till then, and then I'd expire. Uh, we use these. Uh, I've got Easy Mac. Unfortunately, my son, you know, those of you who have young children, know how picky eaters they can be. This is something he likes to eat all the time. And if he's got to eat something, this is quick and easy. You pour some boiling water in there, you've got the cup and everything all set to go. And he can go with that. Got some, uh, some beefaroni. Some canned chicken breast. Uh, I went with the canned chicken breast in place of the like uh, the retour pouches, basically because it cost a lot less, and uh, these actually last a lot longer than the retour pouches that I saw. Have kind of hard to see, but there's a like a multi spice pack. I picked that up at Walmart in the camping section. Again, to, just to take care of your appetite a little bit. And a big old bag of peanuts. Bag of beef jerky. And I do have some of the Retort Pack tuna. Ramen noodles, two big packs. Everyone knows these are dirt cheap, easy to make. You can even eat them dry. Uh, of course, picky eaters. My wife likes beef. Me and the kids like chicken, or me and my daughter like chicken. Um, yeah, it takes up some space, but it's actually pretty light. And if you're going to be in a bad situation, you have something that's at least comfortable and familiar and help you help you get through things a little better. A large hank of rope. Um, not really is that gonna hold your weight by any means, but you can do a lot with that. I have a large tarp in the bottom also if I have to make some sort of shelter or waterproof something. Toothbrush, toothpaste, and a mouthwash, all a little travel size. That takes up a little bit of room but again you know, hygiene is very important. As time goes on, this stuff will have to change a little bit, but for my kids, keep them occupied. Some coloring books, some playing cards. My daughter does word searches in Sudoku. Some crayons, pencils, pencil sharpener. Um, again, if you're in a bad situation, the kids got to try and keep them occupied. And here I have some uh, different drink mixes. I have, uh, you know, some Gatorade stuff, coffee, tea, and I have a couple Red Bull shots. Just, you know, a little extra energy if needed. Granola bars. I can't say enough about that. Nice and easy. One of the few foods my boy will eat also, so keep him happy. And lastly, I have some emergency uh, survival blankets. These are the kind that are they're reflective, the silver on the inside, and then olive drab on the outside. Uh, something nice, easy to have. Well, that's it. Um, as time goes on, I have other ideas. I'm gonna need to include some more water purifying stuff. I do have the pot if I need to boil water, but I do would like to get uh, a regular water purifier to have on hand. And uh, you know, this is kind of one of those things that's ever changing. You see new ideas. That's the great thing about the internet nowadays. And you can update your kits as needs as need be. Thanks for watching.